Are you sick? Yes, I am. What's wrong? Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease. And what does that mean for you? That means that I have about two more years um, before I die. It, my uh, symptoms are shaking every day, depression, um, but I have uh, medication that um, handles the shaking and the depression. Okay. But it's getting harder. Y yes, it is. Yeah. And speaking is harder? Yes, it is. The disease eats my mind away. So that's, it's, my mind is deteriorating. So details for most of anything, I rely on Michael to take care of as far as that for me always. I, I try not to think about it. That okay. is, that is one of the uh, symptoms of the disease is depression. Mm -hmm. And so I, I treat the depression with um, any, um, by a, no, no, I'm sorry, okay. any psych, any psych, any psychotics? Drugs. Okay. Um, and that's very normal for yes. this disease. Yes, it is. It's a cruel disease, isn't it? Yes, it, it is. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain point at which you don't believe you'll be able to communicate or anything anymore? Do you know that? Or does that something you don't want to talk about? Or think I, don't, about? I honestly don't know because the, the, there's new medication that I take that um, it's like new from when my mother had the disease. So it stops the shaking and that. So, okay, so your mother had the disease? My mother did, her father did. We traced it back um, to when they were into Italy. That's where we went back that probably six uh, generations. Has it ever skipped a generation? No. So your two boys, do they know? Yes, they do know. And I have a new grandbaby, so that is, you know, but they're just, they're hoping for a cure for the d disease. I mean, that's their mindset. Yeah. I understand that some problems can't be solved, but we've got two other sons and a grandchild who have the potential of having the same disease. We are engaged in every uh, exploratory investigation for this disease. Uh, I speak uh, frequently with the, the leading researchers on this, not so much thinking that it's going to benefit Darlene, um, but our two boys and, and making sure that, that there's a pathway at least that, you know, that maybe there's a cure for them or their grandchildren. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is sit on my hands with something like this. I just um, wanted to know, do you like addressing these issues head on or? Absolutely I do because I want people to understand that there's nothing, I'm suffering from a fatal disease. It, attacking it head on is the best way to do it. So you'd rather them ask you questions? Yes. Okay. Yep. You go to as many events as you can for him right now, but what kind of toll does it take on your body when you go to those events? Um, so, sometimes uh, it, it does take a toll on me, but I mean, for the, for the most part, uh, I just, I try to support him in everything that he does. So, so are you ever at an event and you look weak? Do you want them to know why you're swaying and why you don't, you know, do you want them to know up front when you see me, this is what you see, the effects of a, a, a disease? It is, the, yeah, exactly, because I'm not under the influence of anything. It's part of the shaking for the disease that I have. Is it easy for you to go out and face people on the campaign trail? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it scary now that you're getting sicker? What is it for you? I, it's scarier now seeing how I'm getting sicker because I don't, my brain is not there. You know, the whole, so, you know, Michael tries to correct me, but sometimes it's just hard for me to screw up. You know, that I'm afraid of screwing up, you know, and in, in, in meeting somebody that I didn't, recognized or before that I had actually met, you know, many times in the past, so. Yeah. Do you forget people you know? You do? Yes. Okay. So on the campaign trail, you could very well look at someone you've known for years and not know them. 
I do that all the time, actually, <laughs> unfortunately. Sometimes I, I may come across as I'm under the influence, but I am not. It's just my brain, my brain is just deteriorating so much that I don't recognize people anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. What is it like to see someone you love struggle, know the answer for them, and want to give it to them, but have to hold back? What's that like? Yeah, it's not easy, right? It's hard. Yeah, it's not easy. Um, yeah, so the challenge is, is that you want the best for your, your loved one. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's very difficult to see them diminish. And, and, you, and you want to finish the sentence for them. This is something that we had agreed on so that... Good you, long talk. All right. Uh, absolutely. I mean, days and days of discussing the you know, my involvement with the campaign again. So let's so. talk about campaigning. You've done other campaigns with Michael, right? Yes, I have. Uh, two others, uh, Senate and Congressman. Congress. And he's a doctor, right? He's got a, an, uh, a doctor in EDD. He has uh, the IPL group, which is uh, a consulting business. And he also has, uh, he is an expert witness, which he does uh, a lot of traveling with also. Is yeah. he a smart guy? Yes. Yeah. Smartest man I know. Smartest man you know? <laughs> what do you think of Michael's ability to stand up for people or... He would buck the system. He would, you know, not um, go with the establishment. He would, you know, he's a very independent person so he just thinks for himself. So what do you think, as a county commissioner, what do you think he will bring to the race? He, I think that he would, um, I mean, he is a very open-minded person, and he listens to everything that everybody has to say. So I think that that would be beneficial to the county, to have uh, somebody like that in the seat. He, open to meeting people and everything too, so it, it, I just think that if it, everybody just kind of uh, talked to him and asked him, you know, what his opinions were and everything too, that that would be beneficial. Why do you want him to be county commissioner? Because that's something that he has wanted and I, I want to support him in that goal. Okay. He always stands up for the little guy, always, I and mean, that's part of, in his um, DNA, he does that. <laughs> he gives me pep talks all the time. He was giving it to me today, too. You know, he's like, okay, all right, Darlene, we got this. Darlene, we got this. Because sometimes I feel overwhelmed, and that's what he does. He just, as a caregiver, and it, you know, that, that would be uh, beneficial also to the county because he just... He has pep talks to everybody. I mean, he would just he'd do it to the employees too. You know that sh that's just how he is. he's ingrained in, in take, taking care of everybody. You ever feel judged by people because you answer questions for her or cut her off, and you know that you're saving her and they don't? Yeah, I, 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 I don't worry so much what other people think about us. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's what she thinks at the moment. I don't care what anybody else thinks. And do you want Michael to quit running the race because of your illness? No, I do not. Why not? Because we agreed that we would run the campaign together. And that's what we're doing. We're running the campaign together. Okay. And say you get really sick before he gets elected. You still want him to continue? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. If you were to die before the campaign mm -hmm. ended, mm -hmm. would you want him to keep going? Certainly. Okay. Yeah. So no matter what, no matter what happens to you, Correct. you want Michael to keep going. I do. Absolutely. Okay. So do you consider yourself brave? Are you? Yes, because I get up every single day and I tackle the day. I mean, I mean, I had dark days, and but I. We work through it together. You know, that, that's something that we did together every single day. He has been an absolute best caregiver. I mean, I can never ask for. 
you know, so that was, if, if so that's now I, I just look at life as a very positive outlook. So, so. You know, people need to understand that when you're confronted with challenges, um, there's always somebody with a bigger challenge. And Darlene is a role model um, to many people, or should be a role model, that even though you're faced with a certain demise, it doesn't mean you have to give up. It doesn't mean that you, you rest and let the rest of the world go by you. It, it, it really should be a, a call to action, like, I better hurry up and get engaged even more so. And, and that's what she's done. She hasn't allowed this, I mean, it's slowed it down a bit, right? And we, we pick our, uh, our venues, um, but you know, she's doubled down in her participation and her support in this campaign. And I want everybody in Lee County and, and throughout you know, the area to know that, that she's with me in this campaign to the end. What do you mean to each other? Okay. You first. Okay. He is my lifeline. That's that's and I I, mean, I could I can live without him. And it, it's we've had some rough days, you know, sometimes. But for the most part, we always think of we wake up and and think positively. But. You know, I've always thought myself would be a good person, um, but she's made me a better person. And, you know, I, I, I had a real strong lesson in humanity through this entire um, last couple of years. And um, so we, the question is, is, what do we mean to, to each other? Um, where I am an anchor for her, you know, she is a life lesson and, and has made me more of a the person than I am. And, and much more understanding than I ever was in my If I'd only known how the king would fall, hey, who's to say, you know I might have changed it all.